we just got a little bit of economic data, import prices. Rick Santelli is in Chicago looking at the numbers. Hi, Rick. Hi, Becky. Indeed. You know, many have suspected we'd have deflationary pressures until we get much of this resolved and see the demand side again, which will bring inflationary. The data somewhat bears that out. Import prices for the month of February were down half of 1 percent following a slight revision up one-tenth of one percent with respect to January. If you take out petroleum, it's actually up two-tenths. And if you look at import prices year over year, down 1.2. Export prices month over month down 1.1, twice expectations. And the year over year export numbers down 1.3. Both those sequentially follow positive numbers that were slightly revised on the year over year, which I think is most important on export prices. We moved from up half 1% to only up four tenths in January. Demand side may be coming at some point and we should see higher price activity. We still have our preliminary March University of Michigan coming up and I would like to draw everybody's attention to the fact that at 93 basis points in a 10 year, its range today basically has been 76 to one, what, 71 to 87. It it settled at 76 last week. It's up on the week. A 30-year bonds range already today has been 139 to 178. It's currently at 157. It settled at 129 last week. So these maturities are up. And everybody is saying, oh, my God, it's been horrible. Thank God the Fed came in. I'm glad the Fed came in. But you know what? Illiquid markets are part of the process. Becky, back to you. All right, Rick. Thank you very much.